Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. Today we have Snowball Express. This is a 1972 film. Uh, it is an hour and 34 minutes long, and yeah, it is one of those, another one of those Dean Jones films. He is like a, he, is he, he has to be a, designated as a Disney icon by now, I would think. I would talk to see the Disney, the D23 Expo people here, because... Seriously, he's dealt with shaggy dogs, and didn't he deal with Herbie at some point? Or at least half this cast has dealt with Herbie at one point or another, the, that living car. Um, there's, I mean, he's he's dealt with that darn cat, I think. There's a there's a million dollar duck. There's all, he's, he's just everywhere in the late 60s, early 70s. Uh, Disney films, and this one I don't even know if it was the the, the format of it was square, so it uh, it was four three, so I think it wasn't even a motion picture. It was released on television, like a, it was a TV movie for Disney. Uh, imagine it was a Wonderful World of Disney or something. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, e either way, it's uh, yeah, 1972. Um, I was thinking this was another Christmas movie or something about, you know, Santa believing in Santa will save the day or something. But no, possibly a train, you know. It's, no, no. It's, a, it's It has to do with skiing and snowmobiling is the the main action elements in this. And uh, the snowmobiling doesn't even come in really at all until the third act. Uh, there's a reference to it where we first meet a certain character early on. But of course, in order to save something from being taken over by a greedy person, um, <laughs> they have to enter a snowmobile race to solve, uh, to, to win things. And, and, and yes, I've just given away uh, the third act, but sorry, this movie is nearly 50 years old. <laughs> Yeah, it is 50 years old this year, in fact. So, um, yeah, uh, by the way, beyond Dean Jones, we also have, let's see, Nancy Olsen. She's, yeah, always, I think, I'm pretty sure she's one of the regulars in these things. Uh, and, of course, Harry Morgan, who is uh, also Colonel Potter from the MASH series a few, a few years after this. Uh, Keenan Wynn plays the banker bad guy, of course. Uh, George Lindsay appears in this in a very small role, uh, not a whole lot, but it's it's uh, oh David David White is he's uh, he used to be on Bewitched I believe he was Darren's boss, uh, he's a guy who shows up. This is the premise of the story here. Uh, he shows up at Dean Jones's business in New York City. He works. He's late. He has a miserable job. He works for Dick Van Patten. It is enough. Now, now, honestly, all these references should make you realize how old I am. So the fact that he is enough, Dick Van Patten, yeah, I know. It's, it's just what I grew up on. Anyway, uh, so David White, uh, is, he shows up with paper at Dean Jones's job and says, hey, you've just inherited uh, something from your great uncle that you barely knew about. Um, he left you his hotel in Colorado in the middle of nowhere Colorado and uh, he's like well oh, screw this job I don't need this anymore and basically tells off his boss and makes you know gestures to his buddies there and then makes a sexist crack to the, the hottie with the great legs in the office who made work bearable every day in <laughs> 72 so um, <laughs> that's the excuse um, 1972 is excused for a lot of things, um, especially sexism. Uh, anyway, the uh, he decides to pull up stakes, leave New York City, and head to the wilderness of Colorado, much to the chagrin of his wife and two children, a uh, young boy, maybe about 12, and a daughter who's maybe 18, 19, I don't know. Um, and of course, he they arrive and they find out that the place is a complete dump. It's barely a hotel. It's barely it, it houses some raccoons uh, and <laughs> some bats, but beyond that, it is just it's freezing in there. And uh, even the dog uh, that they bring along, which he looked like he would be an important part of this whole winter themed movie because he I think he's uh, one of those. Uh, 
I can't remember what type of dog it is, but it's a St. Bernard. I think he's a St. Bernard, and he'd be just he'd be perfect for this weather to save, rescue people, but he seems miserable too. Um, but they suddenly get the bright idea of turning this into a ski lodge in order to save it. Uh, the, the banker is looking to buy it out from them, but he won't give them a loan without a good reason. And well, they come up with the ski lodge idea, and of course, this leads to many uh, George, uh, what did I say, George? Well, Dean Jones plays Johnny Baxter. George? George Lindsay is what I was thinking of, but Dean Jones' character, Johnny, uh, decides to go check out another, a neighboring uh, ski resort, and what ensues is just a lot of slapstick comedy in front of a blue screen. Uh, they were blue back then, not green. Um, in front of a blue screen, in, uh, in, as he pretends to fumble his way down a hill, as he pretends that he's a skier, which he definitely is not. So apparently there were no ski resorts in New York State at all. I know there are, but... Anyway, he... Uh, <laughs> yeah, the Appalachian Mountains go through there. Come on. It's got to be somewhere around there. Anyway, the uh, he, yeah, he, there's just there's lots and lots of goofy um, bar shots of a skilled skier pretending to be bad, and then Dean Jones in front of a blue screen flailing about like he's going down a hill. So there's a lot of cut back between that, and that's the big comedic hook on this. Lots of skiing slapstick. And then there's, of course, the race I told you about, this snowmobile race, which is a lot of snowmobile slapstick, where Dean Jones, who is also not a snowmobile rider, he's never ridden one before, and Harry Morgan, who is uh, an old man who sort of lives in the house before they even got there. He just sort of, he's um, squatting. He's an old friend of the guy who died, the uncle who died. But yeah, he's basically squatting and he's so Harry Morgan. <laughs> I mean, he, so many of his lines remind me of of Colonel Potter's uh, outbursts in Mash. So it's it's a Harry it's Harry Morganism as so much as a, not so much a Colonel Potter thing. So Harry Morgan is just good at these great daggum freakouts. It's it's just kind of funny. So yeah, it's it's a star-studded affair of Disney icons throughout all of these. Uh, just it's just one more film. I, I I don't know if we'll ever get through. We're gonna try through every single film Dean Dean Jones is in. I, we have to be close to done. How many did he do? I will find out. But uh, it's it's just crazy. So yeah, it's it's an all right film. It's it's pretty harmless. Uh, you might get a kick out of it. It's, it's really this kind of thing that would only interest people who grew up with the film and were like, ah, yeah, I remember that. That's, you know. You know. I mean, the, the skiing movie that I grew up with is, I think, for your eyes only, the James Bond film. <laughs> there's a lot of, I think there's a lot of skiing in that. Pretty sure that was the one. Uh, yeah, I watched a lot of that. There's skiing and snow, snowmobiling were a big thing in the 70s. I mean, I even rode a snowmobile when I was a kid into my elementary school years, and even as a teen, I, I did that. I lived out in the wilderness. Not Los Angeles. So, yeah. It's it's good. It's, uh, it's, it's all right. It's it's not a great movie, but it's, you know, Dean Jones is always a comforting presence if you want to just chill out and watch a winter movie in the middle of summer. So, other than that, yeah. Let's check what tomorrow's uh, episode will be. Not going to say anything? It's 2.97. Did I mute you? Yeah, I muted you. Sorry. 2.97. I always thought she talked whether I had the mute on or not. I don't know. <laughs> hey! We just did a, a Marvel Kids thing a little, a little bit ago, but now... We're going to do another Marvel thing, which is which has just been added to Disney Plus in the last few weeks or so, uh, along with a lot of other stuff. But uh, and this is a series I've sh I've seen before. I've seen the entire series, 
uh, it is complete. It used to be on ABC, and now it's exclusively on Disney+. Plus. We're going to be watching the pilot episode, at least, because I've seen it all already. I know what to say, talk about it, but I'm, I'm going to revisit it. We're going to watch Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, spinning out of uh, the first Avengers film, we're going to see a revived Agent Coulson and uh, building his, uh, his uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. team. So... There we go. Look at that. Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is on the next Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. By the way, out of... We just broke a, a run there since it's something we never... I keep track of everything I've never seen before on the list. And since I've seen this, I, I can now say as of 900 episodes, which this is the one. This is our 900th episode. Uh, right? Yeah, this is the 900th. Um <laughs> I made a big deal about it yesterday, so it should I should be correct in this. Our 900th episode today, out of that, I've seen 775 new things. Only 125 things I've already seen before, and this was 126. That's kind of crazy. I've watched over 172 hours of programming on Disney+. Plus. That's just the stuff that, you know, is part of this program of course i've watched all the episodes of moon knight so far and you know and it's you know and all the other shows that i i don't go through every episode so yeah i've watched a lot of disney plus uh, nobody's paying me for this so. thank you you're welcome disney marvel's agents of shield tomorrow on the disney plus every day challenge we'll see you back here tomorrow